Hello children. In this video, we will learn about multiples. Raju, Pinky and Bablu have been assigned the task to collect donations to help the poor by their teacher Mrs. Khan. Raju told Pinky and Bablu a plan. He said that they would not go to the same house but go to different houses. There are a total of 21 houses in the village. Raju will go to every second house. Pinky will go to every third house and Bablu will go to every fifth house. Because there are 21 houses in the village, can you tell which houses will Raju go to collect donations from? If you wish to, you may pause the video and find the answer. Well done children, you have found the correct answer. Raju will go to collect donations from house numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 and 20. Children. Do you see anything special in these numbers? Yes, we can divide all these numbers by 2. Numbers that can be divided by 2 are multiples of 2. In this way, 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. are multiples of 2. Pinky will go to collect donations from every third house. Can you tell which houses will Pinky go to collect donations from? Yes! Pinky will go to collect donations from houses 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 and 21. Because all these numbers can be divided by 3, these numbers are multiples of 3. Do you know another interesting thing about multiples? We can find the multiples of any number from its multiplication table. For example, if you look closely, you will find all these numbers in the multiplication table of 3. Now, finally, if Bablu went to collect donations from every fifth house, then, can you find multiples of 5 and find out in which houses Bablu went to collect donations from? If you wish to, you can stop the video and find the answer. Well done children, your answer is absolutely correct. We can find multiples of 5 in this way with the help of the multiplication table of 5. Bablu will go to collect donations from houses 5, 10, 15 and 20. Here, the numbers of the houses from where Raju, Pinky and Bablu went to collect donations from are written. Are there any houses in which no one went to collect donations from? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Yes, house numbers 1, 7, 11, 13, 17 and 19 are the houses in which nobody went to collect donations from. But why did it happen? This is because these numbers cannot be divided by any of the numbers 2, 3 or 5. Therefore, we can say that these numbers are not multiples of 2, 3 or 5. As none of Raju, Pinky and Bablu were able to go to these houses, they took Meenu's help and asked her to collect donations from those houses. Raju, Pinky, Meenu and Bablu amassed a lot of donations through their hard work. 
The next day, they gave all the money they had collected to their teacher and got a lot of appreciation from her. Children, in this video, we learned about multiples. In the next video, we will learn more about it through some interesting examples. Hello children, in the last video we learned about multiples. In this video, we will learn more about it through some interesting examples. Today, Meenu's uncle has come from abroad. He has brought various toffees for Meenu and her friends from abroad. Meenu is thinking that she will divide those toffees using groups of 3, 4, 5 or 7 in such a way that no toffee is left. First, Meenu opened a packet of pineapple toffees brought by her uncle. It has a total of 49 toffees. Now, Meenu is thinking which one out of the group of 3, 4, 5 or 7 should she use so that all the toffees are distributed equally. Let's first try to divide these toffees into groups of 3 and see if there are any toffees left. How can we easily do this? Correct! We just have to see if we can divide 49 by 3. Can we do that? No, we cannot divide 49 by 3. Therefore, Minu cannot use groups of 3 to distribute 49 toffees. And children, you remember the multiples learned in the previous video, don't you? Because we cannot divide 49 by 3, we can say that 49 is not a multiple of 3. This means which group will Minu have to use to distribute the 49 toffees equally? To find this out, we just have to find that 49 is a multiple of which one of the numbers? 3, 4, 5 or 7? Now can you tell? 49 is a multiple of which of these numbers? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Well done children! Your answer is absolutely correct! To find 49 is a multiple of which of these numbers, we only have to see which number it can be divided by. If we look at the multiplication table of 3, 4, 5 and 7, we will find that the number 49 can be found in the multiplication table of 7 only. So, we can say that 49 is a multiple of 7. Minu quickly made a group of 7-7 seven, seven toffees and filled 49 toffees in 7 boxes. Now, Minu opened a chocolate toffee packet brought by her uncle. She found 75 toffees in this packet. Now, can you tell which of the groups of 3, 4, 5, or 7 can Minu use to distribute these 75 chocolate toffees equally? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Children, you have found the answer absolutely correctly. We can divide 75 by 5. In other words, 75 is a multiple of 5. Therefore, by forming a group of 5 toffees, 
Meenu can divide these toffees equally among her friends. With the help of your answer, Meenu made 15 groups of chocolate candies and filled 15 boxes. Meenu finally filled all the candies in the boxes. Now, she is taking these boxes in a big bag to share them among her friends. Children, in this video, we learned more about multiples by some interesting examples. In the next video, we will look at some interesting concepts related to this. Hello children! In the last video, we learned about multiples through some fun examples. In this video, we will learn about some interesting concepts related to this. The competition, who is the smartest in Champapur, is going on. Sheer Khan and Chanda have reached the last round. Both their scores are equal at the moment. The organizer of the competition, Babban, now posed this question in front of them. What number is the first multiple of any number? Time has started ticking and Chanda and Sher Khan started thinking. When the time was up, Sher Khan gave the answer, That number itself! And Chanda could not think of an answer. Is Sher Khan's answer correct? What will we do if we want to find the first multiple of any number? Exactly! We must multiply that number by 1. And if we multiply any number by 1, the answer will be the number itself. So, Sher Khan's answer is absolutely correct. The first multiple of any number is that number itself. Sher Khan is now one point ahead of Chanda. Let's see what is the next question of the competition. Babban asked the next question of the competition. How many multiples can any number have? Sher Khan immediately replied 12 and Chanda answered infinite. Children, can you tell whose answer is correct? We can multiply any number with infinite numbers. So, any number has infinite multiples. This means Chanda's answer is correct. Once again, the scores are equal. Now, let us see what the last question of the competition is. The next question is, which number has all other numbers as its multiples. Sher Khan immediately replied, One! And Chanda replied, It is not possible. There is no such number. Children, can you tell whose answer is correct? We can divide any number by one. Therefore, all numbers are multiples of 1. Sher Khan's answer is absolutely correct that all numbers are multiples of 1. With this, Sher Khan won the competition by going one point ahead of Chanda. Children, in this video, we learned about some interesting concepts related to multiples.
Hello children in this video we will